Good morning, students. Today we will study one very important chapter of your curriculum. This chapter is for 15 marks, right? As you can see, the name of the chapter is Amalgamation, Absorption and Reconstruction. Right? Now, first of all, I would like to give you the subtopics of this chapter, right? First of all, we will understand the meaning of these terms, amalgamation, absorption and reconstruction, right? Then, we will study calculation of purchase consideration right next we will study accounting in the books of new company and then we will study accounting in the books of old company these are the four aspects that needs to be covered in the given chapter right now before going into these topics i would like to tell you one very important point that whenever you study this chapter, you have to study with reference to AS 14. It means AS 14, Accounting Standard 14 specifically deals with amalgamation, absorption and reconstruction. So whatever accounting treatment that we are going to do in this chapter, that will be in accordance with Accounting Standard 14. Like when you value closing stock, you follow AS2. When you deal with foreign forex, foreign exchange transaction, forward exchange contracts, foreign operations, when you convert foreign trial balance into Indian rupee, you follow AS11. When you do accounting for leases, you follow AS19. When you do accounting for investments, you follow AS13. So when you do accounting for amalgamation, absorption and reconstruction, we have to follow AS14. Right? So let us start. Initially, we will talk about what does these word amalgamation, absorption and reconstruction means. Meaning. First of all, I would explain you what is amalgamation. First of all, I will explain you what is amalgamation. Meaning the very first term is amalgamation. Is that fine? Okay. Now, suppose there are two companies, X Limited and Y Limited. Right? They both decided to come together and form a new company. That is, Z limited. So X limited was carrying its own business, Y limited was carrying its own business. Now they are trying to come together. They are trying to combine their business activities. It is, it is irrelevant whether they are shifting to a new location or not. That is not our matter of concern. Right? X was carrying out business in its own name, Y was carrying out business in its own name. Now they have decided to come together and form a new company, Z Limited. Now X will be called as Z Limited, Y will be called as Z Limited. So this is amalgamation. They both have decided to amalgamate, combine their business activities, business assets and everything. Right? So this new company which is formed is known as the purchasing company, right? This new company which is formed is known as the purchasing company. 
purchasing company and this x limited and y limited will be known as vendor company right so this purchasing company is also called as new company and this vendor company will also be called as old company so basically x limited and y limited they have amalgamated they have combined their business activities and they have formed a new company that is z limited so what kind of accounting treatment are we going to do basically if you see individual basis if you see since i am forming a new company so z limited will has its own existence right you have to create z limited simply you combine business activities next day morning you find no you have to bring z limited into you have to get it registered under the companies act right so this is separate new company is getting formed so what will happen if you see it on individual basis x will now be called as z and y will also now be called as z so now let us talk on individual basis what will happen x limited business will now be carried out in the name of z limited it means that x limited has transferred business to z limited now when you transfer business how do you transfer business by transferring assets and liabilities so now the assets which were of x limited now it will be of z limited you know who are these persons they are basically shareholder of x limited now whatever assets the x limited had was the right of shareholder of x limited now x limited have transferred its business to z limited yes or no x limited have transferred its business to z limited transferring business means transferring the assets all the assets which s limited had will now be called as assets of z limited all the liabilities which x limited had will now be called as liabilities of z limited suddenly one fine day morning shareholder of x limited comes and they see that all the assets are not there so they ask the board of directors where are our assets what have you done with our money so directors of x limited say we have sold our business to z limited we have sold our business to z limited now when you sell anything to someone in lieu of that you must have received something right so now z limited will give now z limited will give purchase consideration right sir what has happened simple the very first point is x have transfer its business to z limited transferring business means transferring assets and liabilities right in lieu of that z limited is giving purchase consideration for the same now z limited will give either cash yes or no or z limited will give shares of z limited you might have studied issue of shares for consideration other than cash so if i have to give you consideration right i have purchased something i have to give you consideration right you can see the arrow is coming out from here i have to give so i can give it in cash or i can give it in terms of share now whatever assets i have purchased in lieu of that i am not giving you cash i am giving you my own company share now after receiving the shares from the new company x limited will distribute 
एक्स लिमिटेड विल डिस्ट्रीब्यूट टू द शेयर होल्डर्स ऑफ एक्स लिमिटेड एक्स लिमिटेड विल डिस्ट्रीब्यूट टू द शेयर होल्डर्स ऑफ एक्स लिमिटेड नाउ द शेयर होल्डर्स ऑफ एक्स लिमिटेड विल नाउ बिकम शेयर होल्डर्स ऑफ Z limited, so they are also happy. Similarly, if you see it on individual basis, Y limited will transfer its business to Z limited, right? Number one, Z limited will give purchase consideration, and then this purchase consideration will be distributed to. shareholder of y limited so y limited shareholder will now become shareholder of z limited so what happens in case of amalgamation right these two business activities are combined and a new company is formed number 1 point number a two or more companies combine means amalgamate their respective business and form a new company shareholders of old company oblique vendor company will now become shareholders of new company oblique purchasing company as simple as that i have nothing to say more so what they have done they have combined their business activity so now if you, you have to when you do accounting you have to see it on individual basis x z y z so x they are combining they are combining their business activity and forming a new company but books of accounts treatment will be done on individual basis one to one basis okay x versus z y versus z so what has happened x have transferred its business to z limited business transfer means assets liabilities transferred know how patents copyrights all these things have been transferred to the new company now shareholder of these old company they need something because their assets have been sold to someone right my assets are with z limited and i have share certificate of x limited not possible i need share certificate of y so in purchase consideration z can give cash or shares of its own company which will be distributed to the shareholder of x limited so automatically the shareholder who was the owner of x limited now x limited is no more into existence now automatically will become shareholder of z limited as a result of this amalgamation so this is the meaning of the term amalgamation two or more companies they come together and form a new company so you have to do when you do accounting you have to think on an individual basis old company will transfer its business business transfer means assets and liabilities transferred in lieu of that new company will give share cash in consideration to old company and that consideration old company will distribute distribute pc to the shareholders of old company automatically shareholders of old company will now become the shareholders of new company that is purchasing company i think this is absolutely clear to all of you there should not be any problem right the the companies which are amalgamating those are known as old company and the company which is getting newly formed that is new company right
so this was the meaning of the term amalgamation now let me explain you what is absorption right now suppose there is a big company and there is a small company right small company is being purchased by big company right so tell me who is the vendor company in this case who is the purchasing company so after acquisition you can see that no new company is being formed the company taking over another company the company taking over another company is known as new company i know there is no new company being formed right so this will be called as new company so business transferred means assets and liabilities transferred big company will give pc to small company right and small company will distribute pc to its shareholders so here no new company is getting formed the purchasing company will be called as the new company in case of amalgamation you have to actually form a new company that is z limited actually form it but big limited is already into existence big limited is absorbing absorbing so i am buying assets and liabilities of one company i am giving pc to its shareholders and that pc will be distributed right so the company who is selling is known as the old company and the company who is purchasing will be known as the new company right don't take that new company meaning in that sense that the company is actually from no new company means the purchasing company and old company means the selling company is that fine i guess this is absolutely okay with all of you right now we will be talking about 
reconstruction and there are two types of reconstruction external reconstruction and internal reconstruction internal reconstruction we will dealt in separately not as per as 14 so what type of reconstruction are we talking about we are talking about external reconstruction right so we discussed amalgamation absorption now external reconstruction now what is this external reconstruction suppose there is a company a limited it got transformed into b limited that's it nothing else simply I have changed my name that is external reconstruction suppose I'm incurring heavy losses right and no one wants to do business with me so what I did I actually calculated my real assets real worth of assets and I transferred those assets at its real worth transferred assets and liabilities purchase consideration right one two three is that fine so this will be known as purchasing company oblique new company simply I have just changed the name I want to bring a limited into liquidation and I want to form a new company transfer all my assets right so previously I was doing business in the name of a limited now I will do business in the name of B limited simple right that is transformation right now what happens why you do so understand Achha. this is known as vendor company oblique old company say for example this is balance sheet of a limited right I have equity share capital I have assets 10 lakh assets 6 lakh and PL debit 4 lakh now with the with the help of this balance sheet if I if I go and seek a loan no one will give me that person will say that already you have a loss of 4 lakh in your books so what will I do I will simply transfer this 6 lakh and I will give purchase consideration 6 lakh so as a result of this when I prepare balance sheet of B limited asset is 6 lakh equity share capital 6 lakh now with this new name if I go and take this balance sheet no one would know that I had a loss of 4 lakh another way of removing this loss is internal reconstruction that will be taught in the next chapter either you go by this or you go by internal reconstruction the only difference is that when you go by this you have to incur again expenditure in forming a new company 
registration expenses and all but if you go for internal reconstruction approach then in that case you save the cost of forming a new company simply whatever are good assets and liabilities that you transfer to be limited and accordingly you give pc to its shareholder anyway those uh, whose net worth was 10 lakh now they are having share of 6 lakh only because asset transfer is 6 lakh accordingly b limited is giving pc to a limited and in internal reconstruction also you will find that when you write off this 4 lakh automatically this becomes 6 lakh anyway shareholder has nothing to do right shareholders position under both the cases of external reconstruction and internal reconstruction will be same external reconstruction means outright sale to another company and internal reconstruction means internally mitigating or setting of loss with the share capital right is that fine so again <coughs> here the new company which is getting formed the new company which is getting formed is known as purchasing company and the company which is getting transformed is known as old company right one very important note accounting treatment for amalgamation absorption and external reconstruction is same accounting treatment for amalgamation absorption and external reconstruction is same simply identify which one is new company and which one is old company now whether it is amalgamation absorption or external reconstruction simple business transferred pc given and pc distributed so in all the three cases you must have seen that business transferred asset liability transferred right see asset liability transferred here also asset liability transferred here also asset liability transferred common then second pc distribution you can see pc distribution pc distribution third distribution of pc distribution of pc distribution of pc and internally setting of this law that is known as internal reconstruction in that case you save the cost of forming a new company right i guess this is absolutely clear with all of you with the meaning and all right okay so now we will be talking about second topic of discussion that is calculation of purchase consideration give the heading now what does the weed purchase 
कंसिडरेशन मीन्स परचेज कंसिडरेशन मीन्स amount payable to the shareholders of old company by the purchasing company there are two things who will give and to whom it will be given by the new company to the shareholders of old company obviously it will not be directly handed over right the new company will give to the liquidator since old company is coming to an end right we are shutting down because that is why its business activities have been transferred to new company so you have to shut down the old company so when when you shut up any company right shut down any company in that case Uh, you have to appoint liquidators so the new company will hand it to the liquidator and the liquidator will discharge or distribute it to the shareholders of old company basically whatever i am giving you it is for the shareholders of old company remember this is very point number 1 point number 2 purchase consideration can be calculated by any one of the following methods number a net payment method right number b net asset method right now simple i'll give you two cases case 1 old company and new company assets liabilities transferred worth rupees 6 lakh and in purchase consideration 15000 shares of new company and market value of new company's share is equals to rupees 50 this is case 1 purchase consideration can be calculated by any one of the following methods so old company has transferred an asset of 6 lakh to new company and the new company has given 15000 shares of new company of its company and the market price of each is 50 now as per npm method purchase consideration will be i have given 15000 shares and my each share is of 50 rupees so i am giving you 7 lakh 50000 if you know the payment details completely how many shares what is the value of each share in that case go for net payment method this is the first preference and if i follow net asset method then pc will be net asset 
taken over that is rupees 6 lakh right you all must have done a valuation of goodwill where you have uh, you might have read this word netto net asset taken over right if i know the payment details that is the first preference 15000 shares 50 rupees is the share price of new company is that fine i guess right and net asset matter says calculate the worth of what has been purchased by the new company that will be my purchase consideration obviously the 6 lakh to be settled by cash or share of new company but the amount will be Six lakh. Is that fine? Yes or no? If they tell us the payment detail as well as netto, this is netto, and they have given the payment details also. calculate pc by payment details if they don't give this payment detail calculate pc by netto only if we calculate pc under net payment method goodwill should be evaluated for new company so i have already told you in valuation of goodwill goodwill is what purchase consideration minus netto this is very important note so as per net payment method what is my purchase consideration 7 lakh 50 and my netto is 6 lakh that comes to extra amount paid will be known as goodwill the extra amount paid will be known as goodwill right so for new company what i have purchased that is also given right for new company what i have purchased that is also given what i have given that is also given so the first preference will be given to net payment and then net asset method right let us do case 2 old company new company netto is 10 lakh
PC share price of new company is 50 now if I have to calculate PC by net payment method not possible as to how many shares new company is providing is not given as to how many shares new company providing is not given right so in this given case we have to go by net asset method that is under net asset method netto will be my pc that is 10 lakh under net asset method netto will be my pc that is 10 lakh obviously this 10 lakh will be settled by issuing new company's share valued at rupees 50 per share so therefore number of shares new company will give is equals to 10 lakh divided by 50 20,000 shares right so the number of share description how many shares new company is giving that is not provided to us so we cannot calculate by net payment method so we have to go by net asset method so net asset method may you have to see netto what is the net asset taken over by new company 10 lakhs so that is my pc now if 10 lakh is pc i've already told you what new company gives new company can give 10 lakh cash or 10 lakh equivalent shares so new company will give its own new shares and each share is valued at 50 in the market so as a result of which i will give you 20000 shares now in this case if i calculate goodwill pc minus netto pc is 10 lakh netto is also 10 lakh that is zero so i have already told you that only 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 if it is under net payment method the netto is something else and purchase consideration is something else then there can be difference but if NATO is PC then the difference will be zero I guess this is absolutely fine with all of you right so net payment method means how many shares what is the value of share everything is given right and net net asset means what i have purchased 
सो दिस इज सिंपली पॉइंट नंबर वन इफ यू सी इन दैट डायग्राम एंड दिस इज पॉइंट नंबर टू वॉट आई हैव गिवेन In this case, first I purchase on the basis of that I am giving you twenty thousand shares. Is that fine? Now, now write notes. The format. payment to payment in workings amount equity shareholder of old company i can give them equity share of new company i can also give them cash i can give them debenture of new company whatever i can give them right anything i can give them anything i can also give them preference share of new company anything i can give them whatever they demand this is working area and here it is amount similarly whatever you pay to preference shareholder of old company now usually you give them cash or you give them equity share of new company or you can give them debenture of new company or you can give them preference share of new company anything this is working area so this part is pc I guess this is absolutely fine. Right? So I've already told you it will be shareholder of old company you can see and whatever i give that has to be mine new companies like in just case one working area i will show 15000 share into rupees 50 in that sum it was pref there was no preference shareholder in old company so we got pc 750 right this will be covered in detail in the very next session how do you calculate under net asset method particulars amount sundry assets taken over at 
अग्रीड वैल्यू द वैल्यू एट विच न्यू कंपनी हैज अग्रीड फॉर इट कैन बी फाइव लैक सिक्स लैक इन योर बुक्स बट आई हैव टू अग्री दैट फॉर दैट वैल्यू लेस सन्ड्री लाइबिलिटीज टेकन ओवर एट अग्रीड वैल्यू सो दिस इज माई परचेज कंसिडरेशन सिंपली द नैटो विल बी माई परचेज कंसिडरेशन आई गेस दिस इज एब्सोल्युटली फाइन विथ ऑल ऑफ यू द नैटो विल बी माई परचेज कंसिडरेशन दिस इज नैटो नेट एसेट टेकन ओवर right so today uh, we have covered meaning and uh, calculation of purchase consideration in the very next session we will be dealing with practical problems of this calculation of purchase consideration and we will be moving to accounting entries in the books of new company right so till then goodbye take care